Hey Scorpio, welcome to your first half of July reading. Save the best for last. Just in case, because there have been some comments um, with questions as to how this all works with my rotation. So I follow an ent elemental series. Fire signs, I do all that. Earth signs, air signs, water signs. So water signs were up first in the last series for the second half of June. So it was Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio then. So you get moved to the end of the line for this series. Okay, so that's how that works. So there are occasions where it'll be three weeks before you get your, you know, your next reading. It's just how it works. Um, but if I start messing around with the, you know, individual signs within the elements, it will, you know, everyone will get confused. This way you all know how to figure out when you're coming next okay so i apologize for the delay but i'm trying to keep things fair and square so that everybody gets a chance to come first in the rotation or second or third or last place you may be last but you're not least <laughs> okay scorpio all right so here's what we're doing a general reading for the collective of scorpio sun and rising may not resonate with everybody that's okay just if you're here as a scorpio sun check out the um at least the title for the um reading in this series that aligns with your rising sign there may be messages there for you um i know my rising readings uh, almost are always more on target because my rising sign is leo and i have a lot of leo in my chart so that energy kind of is a little more accurate for me just a thought or you can try watching the sun or rising readings for your divine counterpart. Be a cross watcher. Okay. Hello. Okay. So there's that. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I hope you'll consider joining us here. Subscribe, like, share. And Scorpio, for those who are returning, you know I appreciate you very much. Um, and your patience, especially. <laughs> <laughs> okay that was definitely an exercise in um frustration tolerance for you the past few weeks so thanks for your patience pulling two cards one for divine masculine one for divine feminine feel free to flip the energies around if you get through the whole reading and you're like everything made sense but i think i'm the other side and i'm the feminine not the masculine that's fine Let's let go of labels here. I just have to have a structure to follow so that my intentions are clear as um, I call in energy and messages. Masculine gets card number 19, flexible. This came out in the, one of the other water readings, either Cancer or Pisces, but for the feminine. So that's interesting. There's a theme for water signs about, around flexibility right now. Card number 19, one and nine is 10, and then we go back to a one. Beautiful energy of flexibility here for this masculine. So it leads me to believe that you may need to stay in some form of flow and feminine sorry to say card 33 chaos and conflict 33 is a master number we don't uh reduce it so that's good to know but chaos and conflict feels um you know what might that look like five of wands right chaos and conflict um something that comes again where this masculine where both of you need to be somewhat flexible and anticipate shifts and changes. That's important too. Mercury just went um, direct after being retrograde for about three weeks. We're still in the shadow phase though, so there can still be some blips with regard to communication. So the more you know. Um, I'm pulling one card for you, Scorpio, from Energy Oracle. Just let's see what kind of energy is guiding you through this reading or going forward, something you should put your attention to or consider. Let's see what's coming through for Scorpio, please. Oh, one of my favorite cards, man holding a heart. Beautiful, card 45. I like it, I like it a lot. And it's upright. You ready, Scorp? 
This tender man sits with flowers all around, holding a heart in his hand. For a man, this signals a greater clarity about emotions and their purpose in your life. There could be a more balanced approach to family and love at this time, even if these have been confusing experiences for you in the past. For some, this card upright could signal the presence of a new man in your life, one who tends to be more thoughtful and aware. Whether or not this man is a love interest or a friend, he brings a high intention to help where personal projects, family, or home issues are concerned. So in other words, if, if you're the masculine, if you're here, Scorpio, or if you're, if you're just here even as a cross watcher uh, for a Scorpio feminine, this... Um, for for a masculine energy i'm not going to say a man for a masculine energy this is all about greater clarity around em emotions and your purpose in the other person's life got it so i think that's really interesting and for a feminine it could mean that either someone new coming in on a romantic level who's more um well maybe not even romantic but just somebody who's emotionally available this often makes me think of the king of cups or even the knight of cups um, but it could also be a shift in the energy on an emotional level within your connection with your divine counterpart. Got it? Okay. I got to figure out that chaos and conflict. That's the only thing that doesn't seem to fit. We do it. The flexible feels very good about a shift for a masculine energy with regard to their emotions and their purpose in it, within a connection. Um, but that chaos and conflict, Scorpio... <laughs> <laughs> it makes me nervous. Um, also, for those who haven't uh, been watching lately, I have um, decided to shut down private readings. All my private readings are on hold for the foreseeable future. In other words, I'll let you know if I ever decide to reopen them. But um, I, I will be devoting more time and energy to bringing more um, to the channel uh, because I feel like I can reach a wider audience and help more people at um, um, with that energy. Okay, but you're free to join us and we are inviting you. I say we because I have a group, a collective group over on the Priestess Lounge. The link to the private Facebook group is below. We'd love to have you there, Scorpio. So please come join us. Um, if you have some positive energy <laughs> to give, come bring some. If you need some, come get some. There is a link below in the description box that takes you directly there. Um, you do have to check in a box. There is a little um, question that has to be answered. It's just a check in a box. So if you check the box, then you'll get automatically approved. Okay? All right. If you don't, I assume you really don't aren't interested. Not a problem. Whoo! All right. I'm seeing some persistent but guarded energy. That's nice. Ten of Cups. I want to. I think that came up in my morning reading. Wow. Whoo, feminine. I think in my morning reading the Ten of Cups came out. What does that mean? That means every morning. I do a lot. Yes, it did. I do a little reading it um, uh, to kind of let me see the energies um, for the signs I'm reading for that day. Sorry, I'm a little distracted. Um, and the Ten of Cups came out. So there it is right here. I'm seeing a masculine in the Nine of um, Wands. This is a card of perseverance. And it does, it does feel very aligned with this flexibility, like somebody who's really being pushed to their limits has to be flexible and what are they doing about it in the in the connection right now there's an energy of manifestation so their experiences while they're not yet giving up they're kind of running out of um it's it's a heavy burden this is a this has been an arduous strenuous challenging journey and now they are aware they have all the tools they need at their disposal to manifest what they want. What do they want? Boom. You got it. Happily ever after, total emotional contentment, fulfillment. This is the pinnacle of love. 
um, the happily ever after, the nirvana, as I like to call it. In the past, seeds were planted in this masculine was very, very patient, uh, kind of allowing things to roll out organically. And now I feel like they're saying, yeah, <laughs> I got to get a jump on this. Um, feminine is showing up very guarded. Four pentacles. Um, blocking almost it feels there's blocked energy here because they know they're the fem they know they are the divine feminine they are coming from unconditional love but on some level i uh, i feel they're concerned um about risking the exposure of their heart right because when you sit with that center pentacle like in a vice grip what you're doing is you're blocking that energy and you're your your thoughts are that you're protecting your heart but what's really happening is you're blocking that chakra you're blocking that energy um in the past knight of swords right this came out in your last reading scorpio that swift movement with truth and then i think in that last reading it was the knight of swords clarified by the knight of cups if i remember so there's like fast moving truth and then moving toward love and a lot of action right here for the feminine in this spot if i recall and then now we have another night going forward moving slowly very deliberate that knight of pentacles moves slow has a plan so i'm seeing this pentacle energy here for the feminine um suggesting that things are getting real and you know the pentacles are th third dimension it's the here and the now it's it's every like this is a desk and this is a card and it's all very literal and i feel like the feminine is starting to shift although still remaining in very high vibration and very connected at higher dimensional levels there's something that's shifting for this feminine and they're wanting to pull back and slow it all down so let's look at that what's that about I'm going to start with the feminine as a matter of fact. I don't usually do that, but I'm feeling called to today. Why are we so guarded here? What's the guard? Because I'm feeling the chaos, chaos and conflict. What's that about? Hmm. Endings and new beginnings. The world. That's a beautiful energy. Um... Wow, with the Hierophant, Taurus. So endings and new beginnings, the world card is more enlightenment. It is more Nirvana. It's kind of a sense of freedom. There's completion there. And then we've got the Hierophant, which is a card of commitment, but it's also your convictions. It's not just about commitment. It's what are your feelings or beliefs about commitment? How do you uphold your commitments um, what does it mean to you? And there's some blocked energy around it. One more card, Page of Swords. Hmm. I feel like this feminine needs needs a message of clarity. Uh, the Page of Swords, yes, because here's the Queen of Swords. Wow, and right after it, there's the King of Swords. So now I'm getting a better picture. A lot. We got now we're shifting into the realm of thought. The King and Queen of Swords. I'm, I'm glad they're both here and underneath the deck. For those who are new, what does that mean? It's like the unconscious energy, what's bubbling up under the surface for the person I'm reading for or about. Sometimes what happens is the, that kind of energy motivates our behavior outside of our conscious awareness. So it feels to me like in the past, remember there was this race for truth. And I remember it was... Um, there was something about truth that was while you were moving forward together, I remember that there was some energy around communicating your truth. And I'm not sure that has been fully revealed yet. Like, I'm not sure we're there. And that's why this feminine may be shut down and a bit guarded. Almost as if, well, if this is an ending and a new beginning, I still don't have my clarity. I'm still waiting for that sign or that message or the pages are messengers. I'm not, I'm not sure that the feminine has the message to deliver. They could for some of you. I feel like they're waiting for it. The reason why I say waiting is because they're hunkered down in that very stuck four of pentacles energy, um, which is resistant energy it is it can be stubborn it can be stingy it can be closed off but to me it just feels like there's guardedness because some information about endings and new beginnings 
and commitment hasn't come in yet and then underneath king and queen of swords this feminine is looking for a connection that is high-minded with high integrity and character and honor looking for someone who will probably um be their mental equal right their intellectual equal but someone who also operates by a code of what of honor of integrity someone who you know the the hierophant here with the two fingers there's a pledge to some loftier ideals and ways of seeing the world and i i'm seeing a queen and king of swords so the queen is more about you know she is the um um, truth seeker, truth teller. And that's why her hand is extended. She comes in peace. She's got the extra cups for, for, for her compassion. All the queens have extra cups for those who are new. And, and yet she's dealing with somebody who's a little frosty. The um, king of swords, not as warm and fuzzy, right? Because all the kings have extra swords, swords on swords. Um, so I do, I do like though that this this feminine is all about the realm of truth and clarity and thought and reasoning and logic. And that's why they're stuck because that hasn't come through yet. Still feeling um, the unconditional love and the energy of the feminine. And, and that's why I say they're waiting for the message because the feminine is the more yin, the more allowing, waiting for things to come toward them instead of the yang of the emperor, of the masculine who takes more action. Knight of Swords in the past, I almost, you know, I recall it from the last reading. This reading may be connected to the last reading, end of June, I think the 16th to the 30th. You may want to check that out if you haven't. Yeah. Um, again, five of swords, more swords. This, this feminine in the past, somebody coming in fast and um, all the information has to do with a sense of manipulation or gaslighting. Someone who doesn't have your back. So I feel like in the past, the feminine wanted some action taking with that, like someone to come in and uphold their honor. That's what this whole thing is about. I'm feeling a big sense of honor is what's hanging in the balance, dealing with this feminine honorably and not in a manipulative way. Um, yeah, five of cups. You have the two fives here. Here's your chaos and conflict. Two fives. Fives are about change, and change often brings conflict and chaos. Um, five of cups, regrets of the past. There's look at this person, their attention is is on three cups that are tipped over. And in many readings, it it feels to me like that that, that represents the three of cups, a third party energy that may have been um in within the situation so if that's not your storyline i'm not giving you new information you would already know it in back of this person is the two of cups standing straight upright so there is that kind of outside awareness of of the soulmate empress unconditional love waiting for this truth and information of some sort to come in with honor and integrity and character toward the feminine. Wow. Queen of Wands. And there's the Seven of Pentacles. So, um, okay. And I'm going to take this on the bottom because I'm feeling uh, that it's related. The Seven of Swords and there's the Nine of Wands again. So I, I am feeling on some level that there's underneath, there's a concern, a worry, possibly a suspicion of, um, I, I don't want to full out say cheating, but something that's just shady and not on the level. And I think it has to do with the Queen of Wands. This Queen keeps popping up in a lot of readings. Queen of Wands, you know, in their higher vibration, these are very uh, magnetic personalities, big personalities. You know, you can tell them in any work setting because they're quick to take 
charge or take the lead. They um, are creative thinkers. They are uh, great team players, but more in a leadership role, very um, in their power, dynamic, creative. Did I already say creative, passionate people kind of get in their power very quickly and they can be a little mystical if you see the black cat at her foot you know she's kind of not above um not not above using a little of the mysticism to um help uh further her cause the problem with the queen of wands is in reverse in her lower vibration can be uh, manipulative um uh, takes no prisoners scheming yeah so I, I just have a feeling that's what I'm dealing with, a feminine who um, is right now very guarded with regard to a queen of wands that is uh, Aries, associated with Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but that's not what's important. It's about the energy, and that's why this feminine is in a wait and see mode. Seven of Pentacles, kind of saying, yep, I'm going to wait to see how this all rolls out organically. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be patient didn't really get a good feeling for what was going on here there's a sense of loss here um in the past and now that's why they're guarded and underneath i think they have some suspicions they're not giving up yet but i feel like they have some suspicions by the way if you're here as a feminine nodding your head i'm here to tell you being suspicious is also low vibe so try to work more with your intuition or with direct proof if you have direct proof or knowledge that's different then it's not about suspicion or intuition you got proof you got proof if you don't have proof and you're just being suspicious that's low vibe come from your intuition connect to your higher self um and i was saying this to pisces i think yesterday i was saying if your intuition is telling you that somebody may not be may not have your best interest at heart what are you doing there fair question so i'll just pose that question to you what are you doing there but if like i said if it's more about just um some some sense or intuitive knowledge then yes it needs to be discussed and talked about and that's why the feminine might move forward very cautiously and slowly knight of pentacles right before taking the leap of faith so i do feel this forward motion of the feminine is is just going to go a little slower than what i'm seeing here for the masculine Ma masculine's manifesting something um bigger and brighter than i think this feminine may be ready for but the feminine is leaning toward it leaning toward the leap of faith i think just has to get some questions or doubts they may have answered page of swords and there we go underneath the star <sighs> it's healing sure but i feel more it's a protective energy like holding out hope and faith that the universe has their back that when they take this leap they will be protected it would be like a wish granted if everything went according to plan masculine nine i do like this nine of um wands and the seven of pentacles is over here as well so there's some mirrored energy that's very good it's a good sign when you're kind of mirroring each other only that nine of wands is underneath for the feminine and it's right up front with this masculine like i have no quit in me right good this is excellent masculine wants to talk about it this is like they're saying this is brutal this is brutal we've got to communicate perfect and the feminine ne needs that needs that push right our happiness is riding on this sun leo energy um how, how are we going to move forward and how how do we push through and get beyond this because this is a card of perseverance and overcoming a challenge right another leo card we may be dealing with a leo here we we push through together the strength card is often about right oh not just overcoming a challenge but having the courage to face it head on and then receive some help or assistance 
um, I feel with each other. She is kind of taming the beast there. That lion is all docile like a kitten at her feet and then that lion protects her in return. So there is this sort of like, um, let's help each other through this. And since you both have the nine of wands, it suggests that this is a challenge and a struggle for both of you. So masculine's ready to communicate it, sees the potential happiness here, knows that you can help each other on some level, is motivated um, by that strength card. Seven of Pentacles in the past. This is also patience and, um, but there's, well, let me just pull the cards first, sorry. Mm -hmm. So I think there was third party energy in this connection. Um, yes, that's why there is that four of Pentacles. Maybe, maybe it's not, it, it might not be third party. It might be more that this masculine kind of hit this phase of um, heart heaviness because of the block of the feminine. It's, you know, I mean, there's more mirrored energy here, right? We've got the four of pentacles out now twice. So almost as if, well, if there is third party and that's hurtful, regardless of whose side it's on, that's a cause for someone pulling back and being guarded and protecting their heart. It could also be that this feminine, this masculine in the past was aware that the feminine was guarded and that was causing the masculine some heart heaviness and they just decided to wait it out. Um, you know, being patient as, and even though it may hurt someone's feelings, this isn't always third party energy, but being that I feel that there's some suspicion here on the part of the feminine that they're not being dealt with, um, and that there, there's a queen of wands energy here I've been questioning that it could just be that um, the masculine is waiting for a situation to come to fruition, to kind of conclude. That's another possibility. I got to get it's a general reading. And I say that because underneath, yeah, two of pentacles, kind of a logistics card. How, how am I going to deal with all this in the here and now? So on some level underneath this masculine, while being patient and waiting for some situation that causes this heaviness of the heart to work out, work, work itself out, knowing that this feminine is guarded and shut down, they don't know what to do about it. Or at least they didn't know what to do about it. That's why the magician comes out. The magician is here so that this masculine can, you know, um, can can step it up a bit and not rely as much on communication as they do on manifestation, right? You put it out there and I do see communication, but I feel like this, this masculine knows that they're going to need a heavy assist from spirit on some level with who, with the queen of cups, there's our Scorpio feminine. Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, it's a water sign. But to me, when it shows, when the Queen of Cups shows up in, in a reading like this, it just feels like it's aligned with this feminine as this masculine is manifesting that empathy, that emotional availability that they haven't been able to find since this feminine's been closed off um, and guarded. Queen of Cups is open-hearted is emotionally available, is compassionate, is empathetic, um, but also highly intuitive. Doesn't know the next best step to take. That's why we're in manifestation mode, trying to, you know, and here's more Scorpio energy. There is transformation of foot this is i feel like the masculine isn't the one going through a transformation per se i feel like underneath they're motivated to transform this connection on some level they're trying to create they're manifesting a transformation because they don't know the next best step they're kind of overthinking things around this queen of cups which i think is the feminine and i feel like they're trying to um transform the connection and almost as if 
they're 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 trapped they don't have any more tricks in their you know and anything left in their bag of tricks that's why they're leaving it more up to a man a, an energy of manifestation my gosh i'm tripping over my tongue today and what they want is this outcome so taking it from something that feels heavy and dark and guarded and blocked off and stuck into something more light and happy and joyful that's the transformation Yeah, they need some guidance to um, help them move to calmer waters. The hermit energy shows up, Virgo and the hermit. But the hermit is, um, it's, got, it's got a couple different energies about it. Obviously, solitary journey of self-awareness, personal growth, uh, the, the sage and wise sage of the tarot. But it's also a card of, of guidance. This hermit does all that inner work and then comes out and illuminates the path for others. That's the lantern, right? Seeking the illumination and then bringing it out to light the path for others. So on some level, I feel this masculine is either wanting to be the guide for the feminine and bring them both to calmer waters and a happily ever after or is seeking in need of that guidance. It's just what I said. Really motivated. Um, very much in love, I feel. Very much in love with this feminine and just feeling stuck, not knowing what to do, using manifestation to kind of transform the connection. And um, I feel as if this feminine is very shut down. It could be for some of you that there was a third party entanglement. I don't know that that's still in existence right now. Um, if it isn't, I, I, I feel the feminine still hasn't received the clarity or the certainty that they're looking for. Um, and therefore, they're now in a, in a new holding pattern and a, in a wait and see mode. And it has to do with that queen of wands. That's all I, I can say. That's what I see. Hence, the, the, the chaos and conflict and why this masculine is being flexible or needs to be flexible as they try to shift this connection forward by any means necessary into the loving connection that they know will bring both of them peace of mind. Yeah. So I see a very positive and hopeful uh, masculine who's trying to figure out the you know the way forward and a feminine who's just kind of stuck and blocked if this sounds like your storyline scorp i'm going to take it to the extended right now the link is below i'll be there in a second and i'll pull three cards to look at the two of you now together get a more holistic look at the situation and then messages to and from each other what are you not saying but trying to communicate energetically those messages are usually very illuminating and then scorpio one card for you from your higher self spirit of the universe that comes through as sometimes advice or clarification or just something you need to pay attention to or be very aware of like a danger sign and then we'll look at the outcome what can you expect going forward and in what time frame if timing is a factor okay it would show up there anyway thank you so much scorpio um i hope this has provided some interesting food for thought i'll see you in a second uh, on the other side the links below or in a future reading take care bye